guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So as you probably saw by the title of this video, today I have another makeup tutorial, or another makeup look for you guys, and it is a guy approved or crush approved makeup tutorial, and I have a huge disclaimer before I begin. It's that I'm not saying that you have to wear makeup, or that you don't have to wear makeup, or that you have to look a certain way for guys to like you, or that you have to wear makeup just so guys like you. A lot of people, including myself, just wear makeup just because it's fun to wear makeup, and I'm not saying that you have to wear makeup to be pretty, or for guys to like you, or whatever. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just sharing a fun makeup look for you guys, because I have actually gotten a lot of requests asking like, hey, I wonder what makeup my crush would like, or what makeup would guys like? So I'm gonna help you out in this video answering that question for you, and that sentence was very poorly phrased. Basically, this is a makeup look that guys will love, because guys like kind of natural makeup looks. Most guys, again, I'm not generalizing, I'm not saying every single guy will like this makeup look, it's just something that most guys would like, because most guys like natural makeup looks. And I'm starting to ramble, but I just feel like I needed to disclaim that at the very beginning, because I'm not generalizing in any way whatsoever. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I really hope you guys enjoy this natural makeup look. If you do, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. And I know you came here for the makeup, so let's just go and get started with the makeup. So you're going to want to start off with a clean face and apply your favorite foundation or BB cream or CC cream. This is the one I use and I'm a little bit crazy so I accidentally deleted some of my footage so you're not going to see me applying that. But next I used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I applied it to my under eye circles and I also applied it to a few blemishes on my face before I started blending. So you can blend either with a brush or with your fingers, whichever you like best. So we're going for natural skin here, so we are skipping the setting powder and going straight to bronzer to kind of warm up our skin. So I'm applying this bronzer to the contours of my cheeks and also like underneath my chin. And I'm kind of just contouring in a nice and light way. And then after that I chose one of my favorite blushes ever. And this is my Too Faced and it's in the color Candy Glow. And I lost the footage for that, but you guys don't really need to see me applying blush. Anyways, I'm moving on to my eyeshadows and I'm using this ombre eyeshadow palette by Becca so you're basically going to need a few kind of lighter and darker shades of brown and make sure they're matte so I'm choosing the lightest kind of taupe cream color and I'm applying that all over my lid and also right underneath my brow bone and then I applied a little bit in my inner corner as well Up next, I'm choosing the second lightest color. In your case, it could be a light taupish color, and I'm starting to apply that right into my crease using a crease brush, and I'm also forming a kind of V shape in my outer corner. Don't worry if it's not perfect because we are going to layer more darker colors as we go on, so just apply that in your crease. And then after that, I'm choosing a light brown color, and this is our second darkest color, so we're going to focus it on the outer third of our eye, kind of, and kind of blend it in. So just follow what I'm doing here. So last but not least, I'm picking up the darkest brown shade that I have using the same crease brush, which kind of doubles as a pencil brush, as you see here. And I'm dragging it onto the outer half of my bottom lash line, and then kind of connecting that line with my top lash line. I'm just applying that darkest color in a really, really small V on the outer half of my eye. What this is going to do is it's going to create a lot of dimension, which is what we're going for. And after we've done applying our colors, you're going to grab your favorite blending brush and just blend the crap out of this so it looks as natural as possible, which again is the look that we're going for here. Up next, we're going to be filling in our eyebrows because I feel like eyebrows are kind of the entire frame to your face. So I'm using the same Tarte Brow Mousse that I always use. You guys probably have already seen this a million times. And I'm just lightly filling in my eyebrows so they look nice and full but also natural at the same time is basically what we're going for here. So just blend your eyebrows with the spoolie brush and just fill them in and blend, basically. That was a bad explanation. Bye. Okay, so we are almost done with our eyes, so now I'm going to move on to mascara, and I've been using this Blink mascara lately, so I'm just applying a few coats to my top and bottom lashes, and remember to do this on both your eyes, even if I don't show you how I do it on both my eyes here, because applying mascara is boring, so 
just apply your favorite mascara. I feel like mascara is a definite must for a guy approved makeup look because you need to be able to flutter your eyelashes and have them in the palm of your hand girl. So just apply as much or as little mascara as you like. So for our lips and to complete our makeup look, I chose to go the kind of minimalistic, simple way and I'm using this minted rose balm which I'm obsessed with and it just kind of adds a little hint of color but it kind of just enhances your natural lip color and your lips are going to look as natural as possible and they're going to be super kissable which is kind of important. So I love how everything in this look goes together so the natural eyes with the kind of peachy glowy cheeks and the natural kissable lips. I feel like it's perfect for taking Snapchat selfies. So this is my completed look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you try it out, make sure to send me pictures on Twitter and on Instagram and send me screenshots of those Snapchats that you guys are going to send to your crushes using this makeup look because I know you're going to look amazing. I think that's everything I have to say for this video. I love you guys so, so much. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know how YouTube works. So I send a million kisses your way and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. So the kind of warmth to the coral color kind of reminds me of spring while the blue eyeliner and the kind of frosty tone to everything still keeps it appropriate for winter 